I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of SPEED and from SPEED Medical Institute to Dr. Mayank Sayani for scoring rank number one in specialty of DM Cardiology in uh, All Indian of Medical Sciences and uh, any SS session 2022. Congratulations to you and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you, Sumbhata. So before we could start, can we know something about Dr. Mayank from where is he coming from, where you graduated from and why DM Cardiology is specifically his choice and his interest? Yes, uh, sir. I have done my uh, MBBS from GMC Jammu. Basically, I, I belong to JNK. Uh, having completed my MBBS in 2018, I got MD Medicine in uh, PGI Chandigarh. Uh, I completed my MD in uh, December of 2021, following which I was uh, basically preparing for the INI only. My interest in cardiology is basically uh, right from the beginning of my residency in, in uh, uh, PGI. I saw patients that who were very critical and uh, then we could offer a definite intervention in a short span of time and there would be a marked improvement in the patient. So that definitely had a lasting impact on me. And right from the beginning, I was interested in cardiology and that prompted me to uh, take this as a specialty. So your basic preparation was towards for ENESS exam? Yes, sir. And that to have a, in the back end uh, is to have a take a seat in PGH Chandigarh or in AIMS? Uh, sir, my preference was always PJ because I have done my MD there, so I'm more familiar with that. So definitely PJ, I would say. Yeah, I would have made close to 16 to 17 interviews so far from yesterday. And uh, when I have spoken to uh, students from PJ Chandir where they have done their MD, and uh, all of them have given the same answer, that I prefer staying back in PJ Chandigarh to do my super charity in the respective specialities. Definitely, sir. Like, uh, having done my medicine, retrospectively, I would say there's not a better place in India to do it. And that's one of the best institutes uh, you can do it in, sir. I mean, is, is, it, is it because of the alma mater which attracts anyone, or it is the quality of the work that attracts you? I mean, I mean not for you. For I mean, I'm just asking generally for uh, all those students who are given the same answer. That didn't ask them, but I'm asking you right now. Sir, I would say both factors would come into play. I mean, the quality of work is exceptional, sir. Like uh, the exposure that we have as medicine residents, I think would be unparalleled. Uh, no other institute in India, I think, can offer such a good exposure. And uh, on top of that, the responsibility that we are interested with, that is another factor. And definitely then some amount of uh, that nostalgia that you have with your alma mater, that also comes into play. You are prompted to stay back at the place where, where you are more familiar with, you are more familiar with the department, with the people, and definitely that is also a factor, sir. Great. So, can we know uh, your uh, preparation strategy for NESS? That means your focus was mainly on Brownwald rather than Harrison and how it was, or it was balanced. Uh, I mean, what did you do for that? Yes, sir. So I would like to say that uh, I completed my medicine in December, uh, my MD medicine in December uh, last year. So I uh, attended the last INI also in the December and got a rank 11, sir, in uh, uh, AIMS, uh, in AIMS list. So I had a basic idea of how I should go about it. And the, even last time I was, um, I was, I would have probably gotten into some peripheral AIMS or some other institute apart from PJ and AIMS Delhi. But I decided that uh, my preparation in cardiology was uh, not up to the mark. And I decided that I didn't want to have that regret of later thinking I, maybe I could have done that. So I decided to have, give it another go. So I had seen in the last paper itself that uh, a lot of questions from medicine were asked, like around 20 to 25 questions in the last time were asked. And they were of a level that I felt that they were a level higher than what you would expect from reading Harrison only. So I felt I couldn't really get away with focusing solely on cardio and so my preparation had to be balanced. So after uh, my MD, I came back home and the first one or two months I focused really on medicine part. I wanted to make it strong before uh, I prepared for cardio itself. So uh, the cardiology preparation exclusively I did for only about two months, uh, March and April. And that's when I started seeing the, uh, the speed videos sir, and that really helped me. So uh, I mean, uh... How did you join Speed? I mean, someone recommended to join or how did you come across sir, this like, platform? I, I would say that everybody knows uh, the Speed is, it, the name speaks for itself. Sir. I mean, I knew that uh, they have a brilliant faculty here who would definitely help me in fine-tuning my preparation. So I decided <laughs> to join. So uh, your preparation on, on cardiology uh, by Dr. Rasim was yes. taking this yeah. uh, 
on my daily basis classes on cardiology and drone wall sessions. Yes, sir. So were you able to fine tune it? I mean, uh, to your uh, requirement from rank 11, from last exam to rank one. So this uh, fine tuning of uh, brown wall based classes, I think yes. the brown wall based class almost three sessions of their thing, I think in the app, session yes. one, session two, and session three. Yes. Were they helpful for you and how did you uh, utilize uh, his classes? So definitely very helpful. So like uh, basically uh, towards the end of my MD, I had utilized another platform for preparation, but I decided that there was some still some lacuna. That's why I decided to join Speed and uh, basically I felt that in a short, very short period of time of two or three months, maybe I couldn't read Brunwald cover to cover. So th uh, therein I felt that uh, if I rely on lectures, that would help me more. And so I started watching all the videos that session one, two and three, especially those videos that targeted the questions that had been asked in the last and some important areas. So I was able to cover like I would say 50 to 60 percent of the videos. And uh, then the most important things which helped me from the speed app was that uh, Sarah had taken a class of uh, the recent guidelines, the recent guidelines and trials. He had taken it, I think, one week back. So I had a look at all those videos and I would say definitely it would have made a difference of five to six questions. So that was really helpful. And another thing that uh, in the interview part, so he uh, uh, sir took a session for the interview preparation. He had made wonderful slides, sir, like uh, I can remember like three, four questions were straight asked from that. So uh, that was really helpful. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, I really appreciate that. You consolidated all your preparation, your revision uh, in the last two months. Yes. And then someone to give you the extracts of Brown world and in, in a very short span of time to revise it. That's what uh, doctor did. And he took a, a special note on updates. He said this time there could be updates yes, from the recent guidelines and the anticipation was there. Yes, and uh, so brilliant because it's a great teamwork by both the faculty and the students. I really, yes. really need to acknowledge the yes, efforts I taken. Like Please, like, I would like to convey my thanks to sir. Really helpful, sir. Definitely, uh, this video will be conveyed to him and definitely you will feel very happy by looking at your performance. Yeah. So, and uh, one thing we always used to discuss at the end of every exam, when this exam is over, the faculty used to discuss and said, so this is what they have migrated from. This this area now they have jumped from uh, some other area. So next year, the anticipation or next exam anticipation will be something different. Okay. But one thing we very clearly understood by, by, by from the faculty in that, this preparation is, is just not, as you said exactly, the word is not only with Harrison. You know, if someone thinks that by mastering Harrison, someone could get the seat, I think uh, that may not be the right um, idea, decision. That's why exactly you just nailed very correctly. You should go a step, at least 10 to 15 percent more than Harrison would have required. Definitely. Great. Now, how many questions did you attend in this exam of IT? Sir, I attempted 79 questions. And uh, my score was around 61.6. So I, I think I would have gotten around 66, right? So what was that one not deserving question? So that was one question uh, in medicine. Sir. They had asked about some antibody used in thyroid or but they had no idea regarding that. Mostly I'm a person who would tend to overmark the questions. I don't leave questions. Even if I can rule out one option, I tend to go for it. I don't like the like basic conservative strategies. So, but this, I, I didn't have any idea regarding this question. So I just left it. So what will be your advice to your juniors or friends who are aspiring for DM cardiology you want to do it? So sir, for if they are preparing for the INI specifically, uh, I would say that don't neglect medicine part. Uh, I have uh, myself experienced it in the last <coughs> INI that I gave that I got, I got a substantial portion of the medicine questions wrong and uh, they definitely had an impact on my rank. So this time I decided that the medicine has to be dealt with in a proper way and you can't just leave it. You can't focus solely on cardiology. For the cardiology part, sir, uh, I would suggest that it basically depends on the person's method of preparation, but uh, having uh, had an experience with this video-based lectures, I would say definitely you can use them as a guide. You can watch the lectures and spe some specific topics which you feel are very important, then you can supplement it with the, uh, the books like, uh, like Brunwald for cardiology. So that would be nice strategy, sir. So for anyone who's starting their career to go on for superficiality, it should be an NESS of first option or an ETSS of first option because pattern has changed. And you are very clear, even in an institute, I want to do either in Ames Delhi or in PGH and So the question does not belong to you. Yeah. This question for someone 
who are starting to uh, prepare or some of people who are in second year or in final year in post graduation to take a call because now people feel okay 150 broader in general medicine let me prepare for that we should go in depth to one particular specialty and go through a brand world or bradley whatever it might be so what is your take on that sir i would say that uh, first you should make up your own mind whether you want to do ini or whether you want to do neat that 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 has to be a very personal decision for me having done my md from pgi so obviously i was exposed to uh, institute so my preference would always be towards an institute but Having said that, there are many institutes uh, that you could get through NEET that are very good. I mean, the exposure you get are maybe on a on par with these institutes also. So having made up your mind, because you do need to make up your mind before, you can't say that I want to do INI, so I would do both cardiology and medicine. And on the other hand, you have purely medicine in uh, NEET access. So definitely that would require a decision beforehand. And then having made up your mind, you should just go in with uh, the full throttle. Hey, doctor. And uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us in this interview. And this interview could throw a lot of light for people who are preparing for cardiology in future. Best thank wishes you. to you as a great cardiologist in the years to come. And uh, wishes and congratulations to you, to all your family members, friends, relatives, and all people around you. Thank you so much. Sir. Keep going. All the best. Thank you.